do you, um, you know, this this idea, is it like that in Iron Resin in Ventura? Like, do they have a similar, did you see, oh, put it this way, someone said it to me the other day, like, no, these these guys that tour the world, they actually get the chance to see these cool ideas in different places ahead of what we do if we're, we're going to live in Karam in our whole <laughs> lives. You know, you've got the, maybe the opportunity to see little setups and uh, uh, plant ideas in your mind. Is there anything you... Maybe, I guess. Do they have a coffee shop over Does Iron... No. All right. No. Uh, Iron and Resin have got a couple of retail stores. They've got one in Ventura and they've got another one in San Francisco. And then, of course, they supply uh, you know, a whole bunch of other stores, obviously. But uh, no, not co- no coffee shop. Um, but uh, the feel... Is that's what the brand's all about? You know, it is about that yeah. outdoorsman. It is about that custom motorcycle scene. Uh, you know, sort of camping, old school, single fin surfing. You know, all all that sort of deal. So, it was a no brainer for us to to follow that guideline when we build our store. You know, I mean, it, it's just a, a man cave shop fit out. Yeah. You know, would, would do you ever see? Uh, you know, the kitchen has to come. It really does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, like um, the last few weeks, you've had a lot of different food vans. It's been really cool. Like, and even getting to know those guys is a is a is a cool thing. You know, for us, the the punter, sure. like, yeah. oh, what what are we eating yeah. today? Oh, it's other sort of stuff. Yeah. You know, it's good fun. But yeah, having your own kitchen that we could pull up at any time and and uh, you know, you know. know. what but about uh, okay? What about this? I'm, I'm not here to spruik my business, mate. You no, know, well, I know that. I'm, I know that. But I generally like it. Like the. <laughs> You know, and when I asked myself, like, how, how am I going to ask you some questions today? I didn't want to. That's what I said. I didn't want to make it mad about anything. But um, well, I'm generally pretty jazzed about the place because it's something great oh, to, it, that I think uh, is a is a cool thing. The building, the location, the space, the setup. Uh, it it would be a cool bar. It would be a cool pub. It would be a cool cafe. It would be a cool restaurant. You know, it's 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 a a large building with some outdoor space on a on a busy road just off the freeway. You know, so. Um, yes, of course. You know, we'll we'll be throwing a kitchen in there at some stage. I even saw um, four police bikes pulling. How the cool other day. is that? It yeah. is great. And at first, everyone I guess was freaking out. Oh my god! No, they're testing checking bikes or something like that. As as some of the dudes look at me, I've got a bike that doesn't have a rego. But you know, like <laughs> you know, everyone has some sort of modification on their bike. You know, yeah, totally. So, uh, but uh, turns out, no, no, these guys were just. Just wanting to feel a part of this group as well. Like, yeah. no, no, I, they could see what you're trying to do. Yeah. No, and that's was, a huge thing. That was really cool. I mean, it was it was good to have the uh, the local police on side. And, and and as they said to us, you know, they see, we know you guys and we know the guys who are riding out of here and we know there's no affiliation that, that, that is outlawed in this state and, you know, that no one wants to see come back in any kind of great hurry. You know, I mean... Uh, Intimidations the, and yeah, you know the right to gather as a club and ride and all that sort of thing. You know, I, I fully support that. The uh, using that as a power against other people, you know, uncool and yeah, and not fun. And yeah. that that's Which a reason. Is, yeah. That's the reason that that they're not around as much anymore. You know, I yeah. don't want to upset anyone. I, I, you know, I love riding with my mates as well. Yeah. So. You know, but we like, want more people around. But the police have said, we know who you guys are. We know you don't all ride like crazies. You're all not trying to break uh, land speed records over Tom Owen. Yeah. So, no, we're, we're cool. We're going to come and have a coffee here, and you, know, you guys are pretty cool. And who built this? This is pretty sweet. I like what yeah. you've done with this bike, and, you know, that, it's good. Exactly. There's, there's no doubt bike riders are bike riders. You know, we're, we're, all, we're all a family no matter what your extracurricular mm. activities may be off the bike, you know. Yeah, and they're, no, and they're not going away. That's the other Thing. So f- to have that period where they sort of ran a certain uh, thing out of town, you know, yep. where um, that's, uh, Max Stuff was sitting in this um, from Death Collective, you stock his stuff. In your yeah, shop, you bet. Yeah, right? Max, well, Max is a good rider. We ride together a lot. Good yeah, ride. well, I said it to him. I said there was a – for me, just, again, I like I like bikes, you know, but I also like the, the rock and rollness of a bike. Yeah. Like, so to uh, – not that long ago when, when owning a Harley meant – you know, big gold chains and like and intimidation. It wasn't rock and roll at all. It was kind of uh, something that I, <laughs> I was just confused me. When will yeah. music and and guitars get back? Music and motorbikes get back together, just like that. Yeah, like exactly. right now. Well, I'm not going to profess to know anything about one uh, percent bike club culture or you know the legalities or what they were or were not doing by any means whatsoever, but. Um, you know, the, 
those guys were a a, a group, were a, are, are a family. Those clubs and and they use that power in ways that they wanted that, that they may or may not want the rest of the public to know about. You know, and so the police obviously saw it as a threat and and had to shut shut them down, move them on. Yeah. Um, I I didn't personally ever experience anything like that, so you know, there's no way I'm going to say whether it's right or wrong. You know, yeah. but. Um, there is nothing better than a whole bunch of your friends all sitting on motorbikes, uh, you know, rocking over a hill and you look in your mirror and just see a line of bikes behind yeah. and you see a line of bikes in front. You know, if that's what a motorcycle club is, then I'm 100% behind that. Yeah. If it's a front for other activities, well, that's probably not cool. Yeah, where you can't smile, you know that. <laughs> that's what I really mean. Like, you know, what do they say in Death Collective? Ride bikes, have fun. Sure. You know, and... And yes, it feels like there's a million dirt bike riders now with these cool bikes, and yeah. they've got a place to go at your shop, you know. Oh yeah, definitely. We we, we love all bikes, yeah. you know. There's no doubt about it. Just like you, we love motorcycles. How many bikes you, know? you got? Oh, and you were going to ask me this, and now I'm going to have to. I'm going <laughs> to yeah. have to. Think. And all you have told me before, and you did the same thing. All right. Oh. So let me. Oh, one, two. Three. I I think I own maybe five or six at the moment. Uh, What's your favorite? You can't play. Which one's your favourite kid? <laughs> oh, that's easy. <laughs> okay. Look, right. uh, what do you uh, ride? Okay, what's what's the one you ride? I got to go to the shops. Bang. Uh, at the moment, it's my KLR six fifty. So it's a Kawasaki road trail bike that I bought as a, as a adventure touring bike. You know, the full fairings, the saddle bags. You know, yeah. built to ride across the desert. I don't like things staying as they were built and as they were meant to be, so I definitely ripped into that and I've turned it into a little bit more of a uh, sort of dual sport scrambler type thing. I've been riding that a lot lately, finding the incredible dirt roads around here and just, you know, hammering through those. It must be comfortable. Hey? It, must, oh, it must be sprung. Oh, you, for, can, uh, yeah, you can take it off road and you can ride it all day. You know, mm-hmm. and a good buddy of mine, Mark from Rubber Jungle Wetsuits up the road, he's just built one as well. And so mm-hmm. every afternoon, every chance we get, we're jumping on those things and looking for a dirt road. You know, mm-hmm. we're not we're not tearing up people's properties. We're not looking for, you know, runs through the bush, through the national park, et cetera, just the dirt roads. I mean, the amount of people who live on the Gold Coast and probably don't realise mm-hmm. what is 15 minutes away from the, the shiny high rises. Yeah. There's some incredible, just beautiful rainforest roads out there yeah and you're right you're so right when you don't have something about winding your windows up and being these air conditioned well put it this way last time we came back from japan my car uh, was getting fixed i had to hire up at palm beach rent a bomb they had a i I hired this station wagon 1992 station wagon ford didn't have air con had to wind the windows down it was the best experience of my life lately like uh that's great i actually got to smell the cooking and like you could you, you felt the the it was a real, just like being on a bike, you know, which is what you get to do on a bike. You can smell different bits of um, go past trees and yeah. all that sort of stuff. And and I'll slow down here and have a look down this. The rainforest just out the back here is incredible for that. Just the the freshness. Just once you get off the the strip down here, and once you get away from the beaches, you know, it, it's incredible up there. The, the farming, the rainforest, the sort of open roads, and, and you can ride for days. You know, the rides around here are, without a doubt, world class. When I was in the States a couple of weeks ago, we rented some Harleys and rode those around California, you know, took them into San Francisco, etc. and it was amazing, but the roads here just floor those in a heartbeat. Yeah, and we've still got that, you know, look out the back there, Mount Warning, oh. whatever you call it, you know. Yeah. We're in the centre of the big volcano, you know, like yeah. the... Oh, we went and feeling. found some dirt roads around there the other day, and it was just remarkable. You know, you just you just don't even know where you're going to pop out, and you just pop out, and you you're back on the main road type thing. You know, out towards Nimbin there, it was great. It just made me realise. Oh, uh, you've got a um, a uh, is it a brass or orange colour Honda there at the moment? That uh, oh. someone told me that you're selling. That might be my next bike. Honestly, oh, there you go. Maybe get rid of this Vespa, mate. There, there is a great little uh, CB540, little red CB540 yeah. up red, the front it? yeah, that's yeah, for yeah. sale. Yeah, yeah. That, I think that, uh, yeah, that might be it. I, that we were talking. Hey, without turning salesman, that's a great buy. <laughs> the, yeah. the price is good. The engine's good on it. And uh, what what we do is uh, any of our customers that have a bike that we think suits our style, which is basically old bikes, you know, more than anything else, classic bikes. We definitely love those. 
but we're happy for them to park them at our shop. And if people are interested, we'll uh, we'll help them sell it. You know, we're cool. we're not a bike shop by any means. We're not trying to sell motorbikes. We're not trying to you know earn a living from doing that. But if it's an opportunity to show a bike in our store. And you know you get to sell your bike, yeah. And that's what we're doing there. So well, that's what it was. I was sitting there eating, uh, eating a some sort of eating. burger or, on Sunday, talking to an old mate. I need a new bike. I'm sick of this Vespa. You know, blah blah blah. Why don't you buy that? And that's what it could be. Yeah. How great. Well, that's what I was getting at before the kitchen. But is there enough to room room up the side there for me to? <laughs> hey, mate, can you throw on a? You know, is there a little workshop space? That I could trust that you guys have the same vision. I'm thinking of doing this. All right, Drew, what you need is a set of pipes, cut down the seat, quack, 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 quack. We'd, uh, we'd love to help you along that way. The, the idea of putting the workshop in or doing the work, et cetera, that's, uh, we can't do it all. You can't expect us to build a restaurant and build a workshop out there <laughs> okay. as well. That, that's yeah. going to be a little tough. But, hey, you know, you want to talk about the talent in Corumban and the cool stuff that's in Corumban. One of the best bike builders in this country is right here in Corumban. You know, uh, Pop Band Classics, Justin Holmes down there, has okay. built bikes that have been in the New York Times, have been in every magazine around the world. You know, just absolute top class custom motorcycles, and they're built right here in Corumban as well. We, I had no idea. He's the, on my Instagram. I had no idea oh, he was in Corumban. Absolutely amazing, just across the street here. Wow, his, I see his photos. Like, honestly, that's yeah. he does really trick gear. Oh, incredible. Handmade. Like that, that bike that's in the store at the moment, Heartache, the hardtail CB360 with the gr- beautiful paint, green paint job, Justin built that. That's wow. that's going to be taken out of the shop soon, and one of his first builds is going to come back in. You know, he's he's got a list a mile long of of uh, top class bikes that he's building for people. Yeah. You know, the, the talent around here is unbelievable. I didn't know he was in Corumban, mate. Oh yeah, so wow. another one. Wow, go Corumban! <laughs> Did you? Um, I don't know where you live, but what suburb you live in? But was it a choice? Was it some sort of freak, or, or do you find this? Oh my god, we kind of picked something quite cool. Did you almost settle on something else? Uh yeah, close, but in the same area. We were always going to be down this south end. Um, you know, look, everyone in the south end loves the south end and yeah. everyone who doesn't live in the south end thinks where they live is absolutely sensational. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, look, for me, anywhere north of Mermaid is, is south Brisbane and I probably don't travel <laughs> that far very often. Yeah. Sorry, anyone. <laughs> but, you know, I, I love the southern end. I mean, one of the reasons I live on the Gold Coast is because the airport, is mm. so close, so easy to get to, small enough that it's not a nightmare to get in and out of. And seeing as that's you know where I have to be once or twice a week, yeah. it's one of the reasons I want to live here. And so I'm yeah. in Palm Beach actually, so I'm right yeah. next door, and uh, I'm so close to the office, Excellent. so close to the airport, and so close to the shop. Excellent. Yeah, name me. All right, you've been around. Name me another place you can live and surf. And see a kangaroo uh, or any wild animals uh, right next to an international airport. Yeah, pretty tough. Yeah. Yeah, pretty tough. It's got to be one of the only ones. It yeah. would have to be. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because as you go north, you know, the next place I thought of was Cairns, but you're not getting the surf in there. Um, so, yeah. yeah. It's got everything. This is the place. It's got everything. Don't, don't tell, tell anyone. anyone. Don't tell anyone. Doing? I know. I know. I don't even want to tell anyone about your bikes. Like, <laughs> I hate to. Oh, we'll put it this way. I keep looking at Instagram lately. It's my new sort of thing. You know, Guy Newman got me onto it, and it, um, and I'm looking at your, you know, your brands, picks, and all these guys. I'm thinking. I hope no one gets. You, you, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I see all the backdrop of where these mountains are and stuff, yeah. and go. Oh, it's so good. I hope we. Hope we contain it into this great little. Uh, you know, it's always fun. It's always um, exactly I, I, how it is now. I, ne- I never want anything to change. That's what I mean. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, so stop developing Gold Coast. Yeah, <laughs> leave it as it is. We're happy. <laughs> how are you? I'm having a great yeah. time. Yeah. Are you okay? Where Where will you go next? Are you? Have they already booked a next show? Uh, yeah, middle of January. I head off for a European tour. Uh, starting in Stockholm, then going to Oslo through Germany, Antwerp. I love Antwerp. Can't wait to get back there. Really? Uh, do a couple of shows in England, which is always a buzz. We get to play the O2 Arena, uh, uh, the Millennium Dome when they first built it for like the for the 2000 celebrations, um, which is like the biggest, you know, craziest 
venue in the world, you know, like that's where everyone wants to go play these days.